As we speak today, the Russians are still attacking our computer system, just like they're attacking most of yours, but I want the public to know this. The Chinese tried to attack our cyber system here in Butler County, which includes everything that we have, dispatching to police and fire five times a day. I want to repeat that, five times a day. The Iranians are attacking our computer system and trying to hack it three times a day. I want to repeat that. Three times a day. Now, are they doing that to help us and be our friends? No, they're not. They're trying to disrupt everything that we do. We've been keeping you updated on the nationwide AT&T outage, and this morning, reports of the problem are growing. Yeah, we started to notice some problems here in our newsroom with some of the phones and just into the newsroom now. Sheriff's departments, police stations, and 911 starting to feel the impact this morning highlands county sheriff's department they're posting to facebook this morning saying at&t outages is now impacting their 911 operations but they're providing a secondary phone number for those in need also posting to x formerly known as twitter posting this morning flagger flagler in flagler county the sheriff's office they're saying they are also feeling these impacts for them, those in the area are unable to call or even text 911 right now. And just into the newsroom, we're receiving multiple reports. T-Mobile, Verizon are also among the outages. And we have seen outages before, but experts say that we have never seen anything this major. AT&T and other networks suffering a major national outage. Fox 5's Robert Moses joins us now with the details. A lot of people waking up very confused this morning. Robert, what's going on? Yes, they are, Dan. Cell service outage. A big heads up for AT&T customers in Louisiana and beyond who are waking up and not being able to use their phones. Yeah, right now tens of thousands of customers here at home across the country don't have service. As you can imagine, leaving many people waking up frustrated, trying to figure out what's going on. You'll wake up this morning with limited service and the phone will be in SOS mode. AT&T has not released any official information, uh, but based on the comments that we're seeing posted on social media like X, uh, users and the nationwide outage detection uh, trackers say the problem started sometime after midnight. It's quite possible that AT&T can't put out a message right now right. to their system. So we've been checking on the potential impact with emergency communications. Metro Emergency Communications Center says it is not impacting them. We've contacted hospitals, the airport, and other essential hubs to find out if there are any changes there. We do tell you that Jefferson County 911, which is in East Tennessee, shared an alert with people living there. We've reached out to AT&T. Not sure what might be happening or how long this could last, but we will keep you updated. And heads up, if you have AT&T, make sure your phone is on Wi-Fi. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Hey, good morning. Yeah, this is developing very quickly this morning. X shows that at 6.30 right now this morning, there are more than 1 million posts of users talking about disrupted cell phone service. If you have AT&T, look at your phone, the top right corner, it says SOS. Now that means, unless your phone's connected to Wi-Fi, your phone's essentially a paperweight right now. And we were told by the FBI director, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Do you have cell phone service? No, this is all we've been talking about. Uh, if you are waking up without cell service, you're not alone. There is a nationwide outage with multiple services, including Verizon, T-Mobile, but AT&T users being affected the most in major cities, including right here in Charlotte. AT&T is having a nationwide outage. Downdetector.com shows outage reports near Knoxville started spiking around 3 this morning. It's affecting everything from phone to wireless to internet services. Reports say it's not just impacting individual customers, but also communications with first responders. Nationwide outage impacting cell phone service, including the ability to call 911. A nationwide outage, maybe even beyond that it's impacting uh, those carriers. We've not heard any carriers beyond that, but if you're on the AT&T network, it's an issue. Or if you rely on the AT&T yeah. network, you could be affected as well. People are having problems with calls and with texting, and they might even be unable to call 911. We are in a terrible way right now.